The first thing I do is check and make sure MySQL is on in the XAMPP control panel. It is. It's green. This is a go. I go to my C drive. I key in my batch file, which keys in the MySQL user's root, no password, host is 127.0.0.1, enter password, hit enter, and I'm at my MySQL prompt. Well, that's good. What's the first thing I do? First thing I do is I key in show databases. Semicolon. Hit enter. And there's the database I want. GB1. Let's use it. So I key in use GB1. Semicolon. And it's changed. That means it's in memory. Next thing I want to do is show tables. Semicolon. And there's my table. GBT. Well, now that I have GBT displayed, what do I want to do? Well, what I'd like to do is select all my records out of GBT. So select star from GBT semicolon, hit enter, and there's all my records. Huh, that's pretty good so far. But I've got one letter. I've got one record on the bottom. I want to get rid of this guy. Lou Lettuce. That was a mistake. So how do I get rid of Lou Lettuce? Well, I'm going to delete from GBT. Enter. And now I'm allowed to continue keying in the command up until I hit the semicolon where first name equals Lou. Now, there are no other first names equal to Lou, so I can get away with this. Now, let's see if it worked. Select star from GBT. Lou Lettuce should be gone. And he is. He's gone. Blue Lettuce is gone. He's down the rabbit hole. All right. Next thing that I want to do is I want to key in a more complex kind of command. There's a... There's someone else here. Shelly Spaghetti. I want to key in the, use the AND operator now with this delete command. I'm going to get rid of Shelly Spaghetti. So, here we go. Let me move this up a bit. There. So I'm going to delete from GBT. Enter. Where LN, last name, equals, single quote, Spaghetti, single quote, and ampersand, ampersand, that's the Boolean operator, and first name equals Shelley, S H E L L Y, single quote, semicolon, she's history. Select star from GBT. Number 10 should be gone. And it's true. Number 10 is gone. Shelly Spaghetti is history. Wow. That's amazing. So, oh my goodness, I have, I have noticed a, a problem here. Well, let me, let me make this problem more evident to you by keying in a special command.
I want to um, key in a command. A select command. I want to select. Let's move that out of the way. Let's select everything from GBT semicolon. Oh no. From GBT where last name equals valley single quote. But last time I used the AND operator, let's use the OR operator this time. OR, two vertical bars. Last name equals bool, semicolon. And look what I get. I get belly and two bulls, but look at this guy here, Bill Bull. Oh no, Bill Bull is lowercase b. I've made a mistake. I have a lowercase b in record five. Well, where id equals five, rather than an uppercase b. What am I? What am I going to do? Oh no. I got a good idea. I think what I should do is update my database. My table, I mean. All right, let me get that cursor out of the way. Let's update the table GBT. Enter. And I'm going to set the first name field equal to single quote capital B-I-L-L, -L, enter, where F-N, first name, equals lowercase bill, and ampersand, ampersand, last name equals, single quotes, bool, single quotes, and semicolon. Let's see what happens now. Wow, I got no warnings. That's a good sign. Let's issue the last command. Set, uh, well, select star from GBT. Oh, forgot my semicolon. And let's take a look at Bill Bull. Oh, he's uppercase now. Whoa, we are good. We are super duper good. Ta da! Bill, capital B, bull. Well, that makes me just super duper happy. This is George Bull.